this mouse tribe how y'all doing on this lovely monday evening it's pretty late i'm pretty tired but you know i'm up here doing the lord's work tonight so we're gonna we're gonna deliver the lord's work tonight tracy ann is first in the building from the west side <laughs> and so so would say let me close my door. I got my door open. I'm washing salon towels. And you know what? I feel like I should bring my microphone closer so y'all can hear me a little bit better. I don't know if y'all ever have trouble hearing me, but let me close my door. All right. I hope y'all couldn't hear the dryer. Okay. Tracy Ann was in the waiting room waiting in the vestibule, okay? She was waiting in the vestibule. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. If you're new here, my name is Lisa Smiles. I'm a natural hair care specialist here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And here on my channel, I deliver natural hair care tips for healthy hair. We talk about inspirational stuff. You're going to laugh and get a good kiki. You can get all of that. I normally don't do introductions, but I say, you know what? I probably need to start doing introductions for people who might not know me because the channel is growing. And I did look at, I did kind of look at my subscribers before I got up here. So I say, you know, new people are going to be joining. So I need to start introducing myself so people can know that I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, I've been in the hair care business pretty much all my life. Okay. So yeah. That's the that's the first church announcement. Second church announcement is I am sold out on all my bonnets. So can we have a praise break right there? Um, I just want to thank everyone that has been supporting my channel and buying products and stuff like you know what God said He's gonna open up and pour out a blessing that you won't have room enough to proceed. So I had to go and get another order in for having some more bonnets coming hopefully by next by the end of next month it just depends on how long it's going to take and um yeah i'll probably be working on some more body butter because that's almost sold out but god is good god is faithful what's the other church announcement i have i think that's all the church announcements i have so yeah i'm sorry y'all i was trying to stretch my neck it's kind of like i think i slipped wrong last couple of days so anyway we got the Smiles Tribe in the building tonight. We have Divinity is, a, is up in the room tonight. It is so nice to see you, Divinity. The Debt Demolisher is in the room tonight. And, you know, I always got to shout out So So because So So, I'm telling you, you be motivating me as well to get up here and do these lives after yours, okay? I be so motivated and I just want to thank I can't say this enough. I just want to thank everyone who tuned in to these lives. Like, y'all motivate me to keep coming up here and just serving and just giving. I'm doing the Lord's work, okay? We all could just try and do the Lord's work. I was like, what was that? <laughs> See, I should turn on my uh, music. But I got clothes drawn, so I'm probably hearing them uh, towels. All right, we have Coach Haru is in the building tonight. Acacia, the Smiles Tribe moderator, is in the room snake tonight saying, Greetings, Smiles Tribe. Let's get it. Um, Q Scott said, Hey, ladies, on a long distance call, so I won't be able to focus and join tonight, but I will be watching the replay. Now, Q Scott, now you done told your age because she's talking about she on a long distance phone call, like they charge. Oh, they might be charging. Hold on, let me stop talking junk. I think Q Scott got somebody that's. In another country. Okay. But I laughed about long distance call because that's what my mom used to say. She still be saying, I'm on long distance call, call you back. Ma, they in New York. <laughs> we get free calls, Ma. Ma, they in Indiana. <laughs> what you mean long distance call? We ain't got no calling cards no more. They might have calling cards. But um look at me judging. But I remember Q Scott said she had somebody, um, family in jamaica or something so let me stop judging look at me see the lord's still working with me okay and all right tracy ann saying hey so so tracy ann saying glory tracy ann is the deaconess the deaconess 
Woo, so out. Yes, I'll get one on the next round. Yes, Tracy Ann, don't worry about it. We're going to have more to come. And this is another thing. I need y'all help. What other, what color would y'all like? Do y'all want another, do y'all want the brown bonnets again? Do y'all want the, I think I had an option of like maybe doing the black with the green on it. Or do y'all want white bonnets? Give me some suggestions on some colors that y'all would like other than the brown ones. I got a lot of great feedback. It was my first time doing the, the batch of the bonnets. So let me know. Drop it in the comments. Drop it in the chat if y'all have any other suggestions. Okay. And Tracy Ann said, I'm going to go ahead and order some more glow border before Cali heats up. Yes, Tracy Ann. <laughs> Please. I'm going to try to figure it out. You know, before when does it really, really get hot in California? Because I, I do, I, I might have to send you a, a test case study and see if it's gonna make it there. I might have to switch up my formula just a little bit for in the summer, but I want to send like a sample when it gets really, really hot and see if it's gonna make it to you without it melting. So. Let me know about that because I want to make sure I'm still able to serve y'all on the west side. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Keep doing the Lord's work. My purple, my favorite color is purple. So, so you did say your favorite color is purple. Okay. Dark teal. I like dark teal. All right. So, I think that's all the church announcements. Let me drink some water. Okay. You know, I had to get on this topic tonight. Acacia said something on So So's Live about um, alopecia. And I also was thinking about this because, as we already know, we already seen what happened at the Oscars. I didn't personally watch the Oscars last night. I just seen, I, I didn't know what was going on until this morning I got on YouTube. And I seen other people talking about it and other people getting it giving their opinions and I was like I had to go Google to see what had happened and um so everybody already know about Will and Jada and Chris Rock okay but also what a lot of people didn't know is that Jada surfers from alopecia now I'm not exactly sure which kind of alopecia she has let me see if I can Google it okay I know we lie what type uh, alopecia does. I don't even know if they're gonna say that in in Google. Um, I know Jada had made a post or a video one time about how she suffered from alopecia, and this is you know pretty much a sensitive topic. And I um I know I joke around, but. I'm, I'm not here to make fun of anybody who might be suffering from alopecia because I know it is serious. And I know definitely when it comes to, especially black women, you know, our hair is our crown. We take pride in, you know, getting thick, full, long, healthy hair. So I'm not here to talk about anybody who have alopecia, but I'm just here to help and just give my opinion and just give you some suggestions on how you can treat it. And some things that you can do if this is something you're suffering with. But I want to specifically talk about traction alopecia. Because traction alopecia is one of the type of alopecias that I see a lot in the black community. Okay. Now I was trying to Google. But I don't know. But that's besides the point. That's besides the point. We're talking about traction alopecia. Okay. So you might ask, so what is traction alopecia? Traction alopecia is hair loss or hair thinning due to wearing excess, like very extremely tight hairstyles that's pulled on your hair strands. So what happens is if you repetitively keep getting these tight hairstyles, it's going to pull your hair out. Okay, it's going to pull your hair out. And I got a video um, that I did maybe a couple weeks ago where I talked about the different types of alopecia and I talked about some things that you can do. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a trichologist. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm just a hair doctor. I'm a natural hairstylist, but I can kind of give you some tips and tricks, but also make sure you consult a doctor. 
on this because this is a serious topic. And I'm also here to let you know that if you're suffering from alopecia, you're not the only one. You're not the only one, okay? I don't want you to feel bad about it. I don't want you to beat yourself up about what you did in the past. Like, oh my gosh, like I just ruined my hair, you know, in the past. But look, now that you're here on this channel and you're getting these gems, you're getting these knowledge, just make a commitment today to do better, okay? Make a commitment today to do better. And the quicker you can start taking action, the quicker we can probably see some growth. Hopefully it's not too late. And even if your hair is to the point where it's not going to grow back, it's still not the end of the world. It's still not the end of the world, okay? You can find there is still, you still can have beauty for ashes, okay? So there's still hope. So that's what trash and alopecia is. So this is, a, this is the first thing I'm going to tell you to do. If you feel like you suffer from traction and alopecia, stop getting tight hairstyles. Okay? Stop getting tight hairstyles. Stop pulling on your hair because your hair is already going through that stress. Even if you're not as exactly 100% sure if you have traction and alopecia, um, you just kind of think, I would say... Go ahead and remove that hairstyle now. As you're watching this video, yep, right now. Start getting that comb, start taking it out right now. So if you think you just might have it, or you feel like it's a lot of tension, take it out. That's why I tell y'all, even too, to take breaks in between your protective styles. And you can't have everybody in your head. Everybody don't care about your edges like they do. They could be suffering from no edges and they just probably just want to be spiteful and pull your hair tight so you cannot have edges like they have edges. But if you're watching this channel, I'm praying for your edges. Lord, we praying right now for these edges that they, they, they be restored and they be renewed because there is hope at the end of the tunnel. So, you're going to make sure that you are not getting these too tight hairstyles. If a hairstyle is too tight, speak up. Speak up. Don't worry about hurting our feelings. Don't worry about hurting the hairstyle's feelings. And if they get mad or whatever, you don't need to be going to them because they should be caring about the health of your hair. So speak up. If a style is too tight, speak up and say something. Don't just sit there. Don't just be trying to get these hairstyles because you want to look good and you over there in pain. Don't do it. Don't do it. Take it out. Tell tell the um stylist to lighten up on, on your edges or on your hair. Don't do it so tight. Okay? And, you know, you might hear people say the tighter the better. No, the tighter the, the less hair you're going to have. The tighter the longer it's going to last. God, you can get that hairstyle again. Why do we think we have to wear hairstyles for months? You can get it again. It's Okay. Wear it for a month, wear it for two or three. God can do it for you again. If he provided the finances to get your hair braided that one time, he can provide the finances again. But also, make sure you're taking breaks in between. Don't be going back to back to back. Your hair needs to breathe. So that's the first thing I'm going to tell you if you're dealing with the traction alopecia is make sure you stop just getting these styles. And to be honest with you, if you have traction alopecia, you don't need to be getting no kind of braids and stuff in your hair for a while until you start seeing some growth. At the minimum, probably about six, probably about six months, you need to be getting nothing tight on your scalp. Nothing. Nothing. And in the meantime, you need to be going to go see a doctor about your condition. Okay? So, that's what you need to do. You need to remove those tight styles. Also, another thing, and we talked about this before, this probably might be repetitive, repetitive to some of y'all who already watched my channel. Scalp, oh, I want to go back. So, here's the thing. If you if you go ahead and attack and treat traction alopecia wise early, you have a, a higher chance of your hair coming back. Same thing that happens like, when you're dealing with like cancer or stuff like that, they say the earlier, the better to go ahead and start treatment. So when it comes to traction alopecia, start treatment immediately. Don't wait. Because if you wait and wait and wait and you keep putting these hairstyles 
it's going to be permanent hair loss is what we see a lot of times. Permanent hair loss. Now, here's the sign. Again, I'm not a doctor, but from what I've seen and from what, you know, I've been doing hair for a while now. When that area gets really, really slick and bald and you cannot see no hair follicle, to me, that's about permanent. That's about permanent. So, again, I'm not a doctor. You still might want to verify, but from me doing hair and me seeing it and it's real slick and I can't see no hair follicle, at that point, it's about permanent. We don't want to get to that point. We don't want to get to that point because sometimes it can be bald, but you still can kind of see some hair follicles coming out. But if it's slick bald, you can't see nothing to that point, it might be permanent. Go verify with a doctor, though. Go verify with a doctor. But from clients that haven't seen like that, yes, bald and bald and shiny. There, I have a client like that currently right now, and we have tried everything. She have been to every kind of doctor there is, and at this point, you know, the doctor pretty much told her there's nothing more else we can do. So we do like styles to kind of like cover it up because this is slick and it's bald. Yes, the hair around it is is um is growing around it, so it's able to cover it up. But as far as that area, no no more no hairs is ever coming back right there. Now I'm not sure if she tried the hair transplant thing because I know that's a thing too. So we're gonna get into that. So there are different kind of treatments I think you can get if you are dealing with trash alopecia and it's not coming out, um, coming back. And again, verify this with a doctor, but I know there's hair transplants out there where they pretty much say, like, say you bald up here, but you have full hair back here. Some kind of way you can go through a surgery and they can take these hair follicles and put them up there. But also you have to be the right candidate. So that might not be an option for everybody. You have to go and seek a doctor to see if that would be an option for you. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Other thing I'm going to say is when you're dealing with traction and alopecia is make sure you are incorporating scalp massages. Okay? We want that blood flow to go because when that blood flow start moving, it's going to uh, promote hair growth. Now, I think i seen a comment in here Acacia talk about that rosemary. Y'all hear me talk about it a lot, okay? And I ain't just be talking about it now. Acacia talking about it. And I ain't, I don't pay Acacia to say that. I don't pay none of these people in, in sidebar. So, so on your live, you be talking about that glow butter. Y'all, I do not pay her to, say, to mention that glow butter. I don't pay her. I don't pay her. I do not pay her to mention that. But that's let me know the y'all some real ones, okay? And y'all done tried the product and it's trusting the truth. Because I can sit here and say it work all day, but it's it's the customers that I go off the customers' testimonials. But that rosemary spray is a is a stimulator, a scalp stimulator. Now, am I claiming that's the only thing you can use and your hair gonna grow? No, I don't lie to y'all and say just buy this one product and your hair is gonna grow. I always tell y'all that it aids in it. You have to do more than that. It aids in it, and then you have to be consistent. So that rosemary spray, if you're dealing with traction alopecia, and it's nothing, this is kind of like if you kind of notice it in the beginning stages. If that if that hair is already slick and bald, I can't promise that that rosemary spray is going to help you. Now, it's going to have to be a miracle from God. Now, God can do it for you. God can turn it around. So, again... Pray over them edges. Go to the altar. Get that get that anointing oil. Get get the bishop to consecrate something. Okay, we pray about everything else. Let's pray for our trash and alopecia. Ain't nothing too hard for God. Because look, the doctor can say no. The doctor can say this area is not supposed to grow back. Okay? The doctor can say that, but we already know. Like we talked about on So So, who's our ultimate source? Okay? So he can bring them back. Okay, he can bring them back. Shoot, now I ain't gonna put a preacher. I ain't about to preach to y'all tonight. We had Bible study last night. We had Bible study last night. If you missed that, go watch Soul for Sunday. Okay, so let me get back to the topic. So yeah, you want to do get something on your scalp in the beginning stages. It's going to be a scalp stimulator. 
scalp stimulator. So that's what that rosemary spray does. I see a lot of people in the comments right now talking about it's no joke. The Santa is on the live, my friend. She motivated me also to get up here to go live tonight. Um, the Santa said that rosemary spray, no joke. My God, my scalp. Yes, yes, it, that thing is the truth. So it's going to help get that blood flow and it's going to stimulate. So it's going to help A in the, in the process. Another thing is stop stressing out. It's all in your head. Stop stressing out. Now, I know this is probably advice that you probably won't hear, maybe from a doctor. But as a hairstylist, knowing how important mental health is, a lot of times we be all in our head. We be all in our head, me included. We be so stressed. And stress would take your hair out as well as traction alopecia. It's pulling your hair too tight. So the more you stress, you're not helping your hair growth. You might need to go see a therapist if you have traction alopecia. I know y'all like, Lisa, it ain't that deep. But yes, it is. Because I have seen plenty of clients where death has happened in the family, trauma, and their hair has fell out. So if that means speaking to a therapist, you might need to do that. It's that deep. Because think about it as black women, how we are about our hair. When, even when it's not done. Just think about it. Think about it if you went through a traumatic experience growing up with the hot comb. Y'all know how we, we probably all need therapy off that hot comb growing up. I get ready to sit down back there. Y'all already doing this. I ain't even touch your head. So I'm saying all this to say, if you have traction alopecia and it might be deep and it messing with your confidence, you might need to go to therapy. And just know if you have traction alopecia, you probably not the only one. There is hope. Okay. There is hope. Another thing when it comes to like traction alopecia, I just seen this recently. Well, not recently, but this was like maybe a year ago. And I seen it on, I can't even say credit for it. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you who page I seen it on. Her page is deeper than hair. I love her. Um, what is her name? Y'all probably know who I'm talking about, but she has like over a million some su subscribers on YouTube, but her channel is deeper than hair. And she had a video talking about alopecia and she was shaking these like little, um, hair fibers on the scalp. So that's something that you can do temporarily. Now, I forgot what those little hair fibers are called. Let me Google it. I'm like, y'all like, Lisa, you doing this on live? Yes. Because we live. We, we don't, we, um, we are, oh, see, they over here listening to me. They over here listening to me, Google. Okay, hair fibers. It's called Top P Hair Building. I think that's what it's called. So it's basically like these little hair, um, it's a reclaim your confidence in just minutes. Okay. All right. So if it's standing from alopecia, they actually have these hair fibers that you can, it's like a powder and that you can kind of sprinkle on your scalp just to give it a more fuller look. Now this is something like this temporary. This is not something that is going to make your hair grow. It's just something just to kind of give you just that little filler. Like if you noticing it's a little thin right there. Or, you know, you need like some filler. You can do something like hair fiber powders. Okay. Oh, Sally got some too. Okay. Yeah. And then also just know that these things are temporary. So obviously when you shampoo your hair, it is going to shampoo out. So that's just another option. If maybe you have traction alopecia and it's not bad yet, but you just need like a little filler in the meantime. So that's an option. Also speak to your doctor. Like I said, a dermatologist or a trichologist. I'm not a trichologist, but they have different things that they can do, different kind of treatments they can offer you. Um, I know one of them, like I said, was the hair transplant. I even seen some of my clients get the um, steroid shots in their scalp. Now, everything ain't going to work for everybody. You got to find out what's going to work for you. But there's definitely different options out there if you're dealing with traction alopecia. And 
what else I was going to say about church and alopecia? I think that was it for now. Let me go through some of the comments. Let me go through some of the comments. I ain't have no notes tonight. I'm just kind of going off the dome, but I did have something else I wanted to say, but I can't think of it, but it'll probably come back to me. All right. So we have, all right. Okay. So y'all voting for the dark teal for net for the bonnet color next time. Okay. Okay. The dead demolition said hit that like button. I appreciate it. Trace in. It was 80 plus all last week and rain today. End of April, beginning of May. Maybe the latest. Maybe wrap tape around the whole lid. I can do that, Tracy Ann. And I kind of switched up my bottles a little bit too. So hopefully, because I've been noticing like some of my bottles have been kind of cracking. So I do just make a new batch of bottles. So hopefully the bottles will help as well with the body butter. But, um... I'll, I'll I'll wrap it, but even if sometimes if I wrap it, if it melts, that just be my thing. Be it melting and just getting everywhere. But I'll try that. Okay, the rosemary hairspray is a hit. Yes, Acacia. Coach Haru said the weather was something else Friday and Saturday out here, Tracy Ann. Okay, y'all, Coach Haru and Tracy Ann's on the west side. I appreciate y'all because it's almost ten o'clock here. That means it is what about. Seven ish there, so I appreciate y'all coming to the live. Yes, make a commitment to do better. That's right, uh, Acacia. She's praying for our edges, yeah, because everybody don't care about your hair, don't care about the health of your hair. That's why you have to vet how we vet these men. We had to vet these hairstylists, it's up in the head, okay? Go to somebody that is knowledgeable about it, okay? And then this is another thing I was gonna say, um, that I meant to say too, it just came back to me about traction alopecia. I also know that there are, you know, certain type of hairstylists that specialize in alopecia. I'm not going to say I specialize in covering alopecia. I do know some things that have worked with some of my clients who do have alopecia where I was able to conceal it. But it, I've even seen some stylists, you know, they relax the hair and cut it down and do all that. To me, if it's not that severe, I wouldn't go that route because you really want to keep chemicals and stuff off your scalp okay you really do um so if it's but it, if it's to the point where it's kind of slick and bald and not coming back sometimes there is an option because i think i forgot her name she is in atlanta and she's really really known for covering up a lot of alopecia y'all probably know styles so i'm talking about i think she relaxes them and cut them down and my gosh she make it look good now i ain't even gonna lie to you she make it look good but in my professional opinion, if you still have hope, I wouldn't say go that far as far as like relaxing it. Like there's still hope. You can still fit it in. You don't have to relax it if you don't want to. But for some people, that's probably, and they know their hair ain't coming back. It's probably better for them to relax it and kind of like slick it down to cover it over. To cover it up, okay? So just letting you know your options. Tracy and for real, I have seen Afro's. Grow on some people braids. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I was talking about. Like, with the braids, like, take them braids down after a while and let your scalp breathe and get hair in between protective styles because the protective styles could be causing traction alopecia. And if you're going back to back to back and taking out one and you putting one in the next day, that's not good. That is not good. Um, Dondra is in the room tonight. Um, okay, bald and shining. I never knew that. The sensation never knew it. The derma roller and your rosemary spray have my bald and shiny spot seeing some fuzz. Now that is a praise report. Come on, Acacia. Do y'all hear that? Do y'all hear that? And see, as y'all see, it's not just the rosemary spray. She's doing other things. With the rosemary spray, it helped AIDS. And look, she got some little fuzz. Acacia, have you been taking pictures? Please tell me you've been taking pictures because that is a client, uh, a customer testimony. Testimony. I would love for you to email me if you are taking pictures and if you're open to sharing. You you can blot out your face, but if you're open to it, please email me. I would love to 
to post that as a testimonial. Because I'm trying to get to that community page, okay? We're trying to get to 500 subscribers. I'm almost there so we can get that community page. Because I'm about to go in with the post, okay? I'm about to go in, all right? The debt demolish that come on and teach now, Lisa. All right. Yes, Acacia. We are happy for you. That rosemary spray is no joke to send to say. <laughs> Not a dime. I love the glow butter. But you better try it because that spray is annoying. Come on. That spray is anointed. It's powerful. It is powerful. Okay? Number one seller. Come on and preach. Acacia said, exactly. Mom fell out most during the divorce. So, you, you definitely know. You definitely tell the truth. It is. It is. When trauma and stuff like that happen, we have to check. I had. I think I told y'all a story before. I had a client, faithful client. This was like a couple years ago. She always came, got her hair treated everything lawyer client father passed away hair just fell out in the back and, and it's different places like it was just all in the back all of this hair up here was good but her back all over just fell out and it was because she was like at least i ain't even gonna lie i kind of just being like a little depressed because my father passed away blah 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 and which is understandable which is understandable but like I said, you already dealing with traction alopecia and then you're stressing out about having alopecia. It's not helping you. So stress can take your hair out. So we have to make sure that we're in a good headspace. And I know some people are like, how do you not stress? Go get some help. Re reach out for help. Okay? Definitely not the only one, but I will embrace it. Amen, Acacia. Tracy Ann said, what's up with the spray? Hairline Tony talks about. Oh, yeah. So, I see that a lot, too. Now, it's men. Well, men. I don't know if they have traction alopecia. But, you know, men. I forgot what was the. I think it was called um, an androgenic alopecia. Sometimes when men, they, their hairline start being pushed back. And they be getting their hairline sprayed on. I see them in the barbershop all the time. Because it's a barbershop really across the hall from my shop. And they be getting their hairline sprayed on. And so I'd be thinking like, so what happens if they go jump in the pool? But I guess they just can't get their hair wet because they just gonna wash right off. But yeah, dudes be getting their hairline sprayed on. Them, I think it's called like some kind of hair fiber. So they get sprayed on and fill it in. It might be pretty much the same thing as the powder, but in the spray form, from my understanding. But yeah, you over there typing sound like TG. <laughs> so so said you over there typing sound like Tony Gaskins. On the keys, Lisa. Yeah, that's me typing. I can type too. Yup, yup. He'd be like, oh yeah, I can type too. I ain't poor, dumb, and country. Now, I can type too. All right. Yes, Acacia, you have hope. And the fact that you seeing little fuzzes, Acacia, I told y'all some of y'all going to be set free this year with, with, with y'all hair care. And people being set free. Come on, Acacia. I have some old pits. I will start documenting. Yes, start documenting it. Just start documenting it. Q Scott said she is back. Hey, Q Scott. All right. 500 plus coming soon. Yes, Coach Haru. Yay. What's that called? So I can tell Marcus he needs to cover up them gray hairs. <laughs> Are you talking about the, like, the powder stuff? It's called um, fiber... What did I just say, y'all, it was called? What did I say it was called? Hair fiber powder. I was trying to give you the brain you can get in the salads. But Marcus don't need that. Marcus ain't got no thinning. You just talking about gray hair. He covering up his gray hair. I mean, I guess you can. But he can just go get his hair colored. He can just go get some, uh, some demi-permanent hair color and slap that on there. The center, you can do that. You can slap it on his head. It's all Marcus need. Look, we all we all in sidebar talking about other stuff. I just want to know if you be watching these videos in replay, <laughs> and you be watching all the way to the end. God bless you. God bless you because we ain't gonna stay on topic. You hear me? We gonna keep keep. We gonna laugh. We ain't gonna stay on topic. Okay, it's gonna be a wide range. So I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all watching. Okay, I'm out here spitting and stuff. Got saliva coming all out. Good God, Lisa, let me drink some of my water. 
But that's pretty much what I want to talk about as far as alopecia. Um, but alopecia, in, in summary, alopecia can be... <laughs> Traction alopecia can be reversed. There are some alopecias that cannot be reversed. Marcus is joined. Marcus just joined. My brother in Christ, Marcus just joined. Okay? Marcus said, I don't have no hair thin to cut. <laughs> I'll get my hair colored. That's what Marcus had to come out with himself. The sensor, don't put your husband up on the bus. Don't put your husband up on the bus. Marcus had to come in here and get get uh clear his name. Mar yeah, Marcus. Yeah, Marcus. Uh oh, he in the comments. <laughs> we used to we used to Tony style a video going off on tangents. Weeds out the trolls. It really does read out the uh the trolls when we go off on tangents. Cause some people be like, all right, I ain't listening to her. But if you keep listening, you you will get your soul healed and you're going to get your hair healed. Come on, somebody. <laughs> yes, I'm here cuz. Yeah, Marcus had to come slide through right quick. He heard his name. <laughs> this had to say, excuse us, y'all. Y'all y'all excuse. Y'all can put up the uh the church thing to the walk out. Hey, y'all, just to be clear with everybody. Oh, okay. Marcus had to come clear his name. <laughs> the sensor must have been watching there, um, watching on the phone. Marcus said, hold on, cuz. Y'all ain't about to be putting me out there. Hey, while we out here, y'all go follow my brother, Marcus. You know what I'm saying? He is giving out these tips. Marcus, is this your, um, is this the page where you be posting your interview? Um, uh, Marcus, drop your YouTube channel where you give your interview tips. Go ahead and help the people out. Go ahead, head because my man be going hard on shorts. He is trying to grow his channel. He be dropping these interview uh, tips and, and tricks. Interview expert coach Marcus. Go ahead and drop your handle in here, okay? You see how it goes off on the tangent on here? We don't stay on topic, okay? We don't stay on topic, but you will get a little bit of everything. Marcus, go ahead and drop a YouTube channel if you're still up here. All right? Okay, so... Yeah, y'all made me get off topic. I was trying to say that if you have traction alopecia, <laughs> there is hope, okay? It can be reversed if you treat it early, okay? Don't wait. Stop wearing protective styles, the tight protective styles, scalp massages, using the right product, getting the right treatments, talk to a doctor. There is hope. And if you think you have it, like I said, go ahead and treat it, okay? Yeah, everybody hype you up, Marcus. They're saying, let's go, Marcus. We got this. Look, I built my little tribe over here, Marcus, okay? All right. Look, the dead demolition said, I got someone for your services. Do you help with mock interviews? Come on now. Now, we 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 in networking mode now. Now, some, some people... Somebody already clicked off. Somebody already got frustrated and clicked off. And we are and we over here giving gems. That's why you got to watch to the end. You know what? I'm going to start giving some prizes for people who watch all the way to the end. I am. I'm going to start I'm gonna start giving some stuff away. Because it's gems in these lives, okay? All right. Acacia say we can get out of attraction. We can get out alopecia. We can get out alopecia treated. Edge is grown, interviews on point, and finances straight. Yes. We're going to get all of that. Look, they saying, drop the link, Marcus. Marcus, where you done went? Marcus, and did you go downstairs and get you a snack? Did Marcus go downstairs and get him a snack? That's what we want to know, DeSenta. Did Marcus go downstairs and get him a snack? Okay. No lies told, Q Scott. What did Q Scott say? Oh, y'all laughing. Y'all laughing. Y'all laughing. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to get all the juice. We're going to get our, we're going to get our finances together. We got our hair together. We got the interview expert. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. He, he exited the vestibule. <laughs> Marcus, are you, are you in the vestibule or are you about to exit? 
We about to get the church announcements. Divinity said still here. Divinity must be driving. Okay. We about to, we this is the this is the um the the announcements before church let out. Um, we wait we waiting for uh y'all he typed the whole paragraph and didn't post it. Now Mark now Marcus be over there being being deep. Now Marcus is go ahead and post the link now because we know we'll be laughing at you. Now Marcus be over there being deep. Now Mark now Marcus gonna give a word now. Mark hey, I be having Bible study with Marcus at the center. We be having hey, he be dropping some word now. He be dropping a word. Okay, yeah, this is okay. Oh, he just posted it. Coach Roundtree, the interview expert. Here's my page, okay? I think when he was up on the Marcus, that's his family page. But Coach Roundtree, interview expert, that's his page. Okay, the center said he doing the most. <laughs> okay, he posted his page. Okay, all right. So Marcus posted his page. So y'all go make sure y'all follow Marcus. Um... He gives tips on interview, interview, being an interview expert, and probably tips on other stuff. But y'all have his handle now. Um, he had to go switch into his. Uh, Marcus was in his regular suit. Marcus had to go sweet, uh, switch into his robe. He had to come out in the vestibule and yell in the pool pit and put on his robe so he can give y'all a word. Okay? And the debt demolisher did subscribe. Okay? The debt demolisher did subscribe. Okay? I would share it with my friends. See, come on now. That's what we here for. That's what we here for. To grow, to help each other, get our edges back. And you see what I'm saying? We're doing the work of the Lord over here. We're doing the work of the Lord. So if you said all you know, it's time to go. Okay? So I hope y'all have thoroughly enjoyed this live. And thank y'all for the mo motivation for me to get up here every night. Because I was tired. I didn't really want to go live tonight. But I'm trying to... You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be more consistent. You know, I'm trying to be more consistent. I do have, I need, and the thing is, I have so many videos in my chamber that I need to edit that I have still have yet edit because I be going live all the time. But I'm going to try to get those videos up for y'all because I got some, I got some heat coming for y'all. So yes, yes, people are subscribing to Marcus channel. Yes, Marcus, let's go. All right, so make sure you subscribe to this channel too. Look, Acacia is the uh, moderator. <laughs> I, Marcus is already subscribed to this channel. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Acacia is the moderator. Thankfully, so I'm going to try that rosemary spray. I just want my scalp to tingle. Yes, Tracy Ann, your your scalp is going to be tingling. It's going to feel. It's like a it's like tingling, like hot but cold sensation. It kind of put me in the mind of icy hot. Y'all remember icy hot back in the day? That's kind of how it is. That's kind of is. Yes, y'all. Mark is over there getting subscribers. Let's go. Okay, y'all. I'm about to go. I'm about to go. I ain't about to behold y'all long. And I'm about to get ready to go. So thank y'all so much for watching this video. Share it out with a friend, you know, and tell them, you know, don't get aggravated because we go off on tangents and we go left, right. Get get the lesson, get the laugh, get the key, key, get the gems, okay? All right. So, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for subscribing, liking, and all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in another video. Bye. It's like the halls to the brain. It's your Liz Acacia.